we got to talk about this game. I think I was just stalling because I didn't want to talk about the Bears in Denver. Right now with Bet365, uh, the Bears are plus three. Uh, it has been at three and a half. There's probably some three and a halves out there. Simon, did you know that teams that wear orange who had huge preseason expectations and are coming off losses in which they gave up between 41 and 70 points are zero and zero against the spread the following week because it's never fucking happened. That's how historically bad both of these teams are. I, I did want to make this Simon says, but no one's going to listen to me. This is even, even I showed the people the results of them covering this number. I still don't think people would bet the bears team. That's how bad they've been. So yeah, you, you have to take the bears here. They're, 0-3 ATS, 0-3 on the season. Like This is a great number. They're a home dog against a horrible team that, yes, Denver's probably going to win on a last-second field goal, but we're getting the hook. We take the three and a half here. So, yeah, the this is the definition of pros versus Joes. Only, only the professionals will be on this Bears team, and you know, a bunch of people are going to take the easy look of, just putting Denver in their money line parlays or teasing through zero and putting them in those teasers. Like everyone's going to just take Denver just because, you know, the bears are losers. I mean, even Chad knows this, like you can't deny what's happened with this team and Justin Fields record. I mean, you know, like seeing that stat last night, Jalen hurts, not to make brag about being an Eagles fan, but seeing the fact that he's 21, 20 and one straight up in his last 21 starts. And I don't know what Justin Fields is, but I think it was like five and 23 or five and 20. It's just, it's terrifying how much is just put on to this kid's shoulder. So I'm hoping they had a week from hell last week. This week, it's just all football. It's all business. Again, if it comes out this week and they're dealing with more BS and he starts talking about his coaches again, I'm out. I'm I, Like I said last week, I'm off this bet totally. But as you sit here right now, I haven't heard a peep from them. It's all football. I'll take the three and a half. Well, look, there's a, there's a lot of issues with this team, clearly. Uh, I do think there's some correctable issues. If you look at this Bears offense last year, they started to perform well when they were getting Justin Fields out of the pocket, putting him in RPOs. They haven't done much of that. The receivers are not running very good routes. They're not putting him in a position to succeed. They're leaving him in the pocket. And the defense is JV. I mean, we've talked about this yeah. so much, but the Broncos defense might be even less than JV. And which is the surprising thing because last year they were so good, right? The first 11 games, they gave up more than 20 points once Yeah. Like those, last year. The first 11 games, if they were averaging 18 points a game, they would have been like 10 and one. Do you know what I mean? And so the fact this defense has fallen off a cliff and as much as we love Sean Payton, a lot of this is about coaching and discipline. Like this team on third and fourth down has, has been creating really stupid penalties and have not been able to get off the field, like to the point where I think heading into this past weekend, they were number one in the NFL on penalties in on third and fourth down on the defensive side of the ball. They are letting people run all over them on screen passes. You saw what Washington did against them. Forget about Miami. Like Washington came back from 18 down because of what they could do with screen passes. Eric the enemy saw it and they just kept throwing screen passes. So maybe that's maybe that's an opportunity for the Bears. Um but this Denver team is just as bad as the Bears. <laughs> yeah, and we're just we're playing That's the spot. That's the best here. thing we can say. And Russell Wilson, like Sean Payton said it this week, he's got to get the calls out faster, and it's throwing off the rhythm of the offense. But I don't know how you're going to get the calls out faster. It's just what he is. So um, this is a tough one. But I'm with you. I'll take the Bears at three and a half as soon as I can find it. Yeah, 